This is a new ZX-1 mirrorless camera from Zeiss. Cinema 5D at Photokina 2018 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Cartoni supports your vision. Tilta, arm your camera. And CVP, your one-stop shop for cine, video, photo, and more. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at a Zeiss event next to Photokina 2018 in Cologne. And Zeiss just very surprisingly announced a new camera, and it's the first digital camera by Zeiss. Uh, nobody expected this. There were just some rumors. What can you tell me about it? So absolutely, it's our first digital camera. So we have been doing uh, cameras in the past uh, on an analog time. But this is our take on, on, the, on the photography. So what we did, we looked uh, and uh, watched the photographers, you know, what is important for them. And uh, people told us that it's all about creativity, the way that I am in my flow. So what we did, like what, how can we support those photographers? How can we help them? Uh, so therefore we um, uh, developed size ZX1 to be able to stay in your flow. And our, our take on is shoot, edit, share. Yeah, and you, I think you managed to have a, an approach that is very different from the other camera manufacturers, meaning you chose a fixed focal length. So it's a mirrorless camera with a fixed 35 millimeter lens mm -hmm. uh, with built-in sharing capabilities. What was the mind, like what was the thinking behind this uh, in order to, you know, like consciously limit the camera? Yeah, well, there are like these kind of design paradigms uh, that, um, you know, the less you have, the more beautiful and meaningful uh, products you do. And that was one of the, the, the key uh, uh, thoughts of ours. So, okay, let's really try to reduce uh, anything to only for essentials. So that's why, you know, we have, you know, the, the uh, tools to manage the lights, like very uh, a traditional way with the dials. And then all the rest of it is, is then like a, a handle from the user user interface through our multi-touch display. Yeah. So, um, and because of this, reduction you know uh, and because of the need for people to you know be creative so here we are really like you know what what are what are the key elements so actually the 35 millimeter lens that we have built in you know pushes the boundaries of creativity and that linked and uh, integrated together with the newly uh, developed size uh, sensor actually provides really stunning results so you're kind of bringing together the ease of use of a smartphone, which a lot of people, whether we like it or not, use for photography. And I think all of us use it as well, because it's usually the camera that is closest if you're just out and about. Uh, you bring this ease of use with a touch screen and also with Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom built in, together with a professional camera, right? Absolutely. So, um, you know, we all know today there's more photography done than ever. And I think it's important um, for you know um, ambitious photographers to, to differentiate themselves as well within that big mass, and uh, that's why we, we choose first of all this high high level uh, you know camera with full format. But as said, it's about the creative flow, and it doesn't end with the capture. Actually, you know it's as important uh, to do the uh, post processing, the editing, to really give your flavor to the, the image and story is never told before it's told and that's the share part so really like having um, uh, like the sharing integrated in one device so we have uh, we have uh, we are working on uh, like Flickr and uh, different types of uh, pro uh, service providers to be able to tell your story so does the camera does that mean the camera has wi-fi and also lte built in so it has Wi-Fi. With Wi-Fi, you need just a hotspot, uh, either you know a wireless uh, LAN router or your mobile phone, uh, which everybody today uh, but has no with SIM them. There's no SIM card in the camera. There's no SIM card in the camera, and through the hotspot, uh, when you have the wireless LAN, the connection to internet, so then you are able to uh, you know upload your images either to some social media platforms, but also then uh, you know packing them up like Dropbox uh, as a service. Uh, we are a website that deals with small cameras that we use for filming mostly. So we know this presentation and the ZX-1 is mainly about photography, but 
the most burning question for our readers and for our audience is, does it shoot video? And if yes, what resolution? So absolutely, so a moving picture is important. Uh, you know, you heard also earlier, you know, cinematography is also an important part for us in, in size. So yes, it shoots video as well, uh, 4K video. Um, yeah. Great, and with manual controls and everything. So today the focus is absolutely on the on the still photography. So yes, we we uh, we have video, 4K video, which is uh, remarkable. Um, but then about the like tools and controls for video, I think uh, details we can talk later. Okay, great. Um, well, I think a lot of features are not completed, so probably. But I'm still gonna ask: Does it have a headphone jack? You know, for audio. So okay, we, let's come back to the you know the the minimalism and reduction. So. Um, what we did is that, okay, what are the essentials? So we have the USB-C connector and you can use the USB-C connector then for like charging your phone, transferring and so on. So it has a microphone integrated and so on. So kind of basics are there also for video. What we have as well is like integrated half a terabyte um, SSD card. So there's no more hassle with the memory cards. So it doesn't even have a memory card? Still? No, it doesn't even have a memory card. It's a, it's a half a terabyte uh, integrated memory. Yeah, interesting. Wow. Any other technical specs you can already share that you know we haven't heard in the presentation? So I think you know when we think of those creative people. So surely you need to have the you know the basics right. Uh, but I think it's like uh, we are not actually. Um, looking for like going to, to uh, 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 compete uh, yeah. with specs so we really have like high quality specs with the 35 millimeter like no distortion lens with the CMOS and you know all the things that you would need for photography and then we we don't stop there it's about editing it's about sharing your story so a nice all-in-one design uh, device that also allows you to go through the whole workflow within the device if you want to absolutely and uh, like uh, like we heard earlier so the editing you know it's not the stopping place anymore but also you know you you, you have a, a possibility you start the editing at the device and you can still continue at home at the desktop and so on uh, with the Lightroom uh, through the, 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 the editing is kind of the principles that they are following so it's it's like like you are the one who is actually deciding what do you do and when do you do it's a good point because a lot of photographers are not in control of their images anymore all right last but not least pricing and availability any hints yet so um, it will be available early 2019 and uh, we will come back with the pricing later okay thank you Petra thank you thank you and thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned to cinema 5d for more news from Photokina 2018 and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already